It's Monday, and on my channel, it's Mini Monday Madness. Today we're painting some succulents. Uh, I go over everything step by step, now how to draw this, but if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. Boop, boop, right there. Hit that little thing, uh, and you can go to Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a place where uh, people go and support my channel, and I have traceables, ad-free videos, and exclusive tutorials there on Thursdays. Also, don't please don't forget to hit the, hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up because they're kind of sporadic, like me. <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions, please, please leave them in the comment section and let's get painting. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go over my supplies. I have two three inch squares of uh, Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, I have my palette, I have my paints, I go over them and I always have them in the description box. I'll be using my Princeton 8 long round brush. I have my paper towel, water jars up here. If you're a Patreon member, you can just download the traceable. If not, I'll just show you quickly how to draw the zebra plant and a simple cactus. So uh, the zebra plant is just basically a little spiky kind of leaves. Um, it's a succulent. You just kind of go like you start with one curve here and then bring it back down here. Then you go up here. Go online and uh, just Google snake plant and you can print out you know, see, I'm just going like this. Doesn't have to look exactly like mine, you know? And then we're going to paint with the white gouache, the little zebras. I'm sorry, not snake plant, zebra plant. They kind of look similar, but they're different. This is more look, this plant looks more like an aloe plant. We're going to be painting in the white part. And then for the basic cactus with flowers, basically it's just like a, a rounded shape here, right? Like an upside down frown. <laughs> and then from the flowers, you know, you put your little circle here. And we're just going to take the little leaf. See, I do this little jagged thing here. Again, an oval kind of shape. Right? If you can't see that, I'll zoom in. And we're going to go curve out and wiggle, wiggle, bring it back in, bring it out, wiggle, wiggle, bring it in, wiggle, wiggle. That's how you get the flowers. You can oval like this. And then I drew some little um, twig kind of branches and some leaves and then just draw some simple daisies or whatever you want. And then for the actual part of the rest of the part of the cactus, you're just going down like this. And then we're going to be painting little spikes coming off the cactus. So that's that. Um, let me zoom back out. I always forget to do that, so that'd be a problem. So, you know, basically uh, for these plants, a lot of greens, you know, we're gonna use white gouache for the um, the zebra part of this plant. Um, you know, basically the rest of it's just watercolor. And for the flowers on the cactus, you can make them any color you want. I'm just gonna grab some magenta. Oh, I have some blue on there, so it's looking purple. Let me tell you, you can make them purple, you can make them pink, you don't have to make them the same color as me. Clanking my little water jar here. So I'm gonna put some magenta, put some yellow in there. So I get like a nice pretty, mm, like a, I don't know how to describe this, the corally kind of pink color. Zoom in, in my hand. And we're just gonna do wet on dry. I'm just gonna fill in this little flower shape that we talked about. And this is a little more on the red side. I might add a little more pink. Make them in the color you want. It could be a bunch of bright colors. Just gonna fill this little shape in, then I just kind of see how I just wiggle that paint. You don't even have to draw this. You can literally just paint it. I'm gonna grab some, make some orange now. So I'm gonna get some yellow, magenta again. More yellow, so it's got a nice, pretty orange. You only need three colors really if you do, to make any all the colors that you want. So make a nice, pretty orange in here. When I have excess water like this, I always tap it on the paper towel. It's just gonna go real quick. I'm not gonna get real specific about this flower. Just kind of fill it in here. If you wanted to go and add. A deeper color in this towards the center. I just grabbed some brilliant orange I already had. 
We're just going to keep it in the hot color tones like pinks and reds and oranges and yellows. I'm going to go back in and grab some magenta. I want this one a little more on the pinker side. Ooh, yeah. Hot pink almost, right? We're just kind of washing this in pretty quickly. And then you can put little, like I said, little daisies. Grab some of my cabin yellow deep, a perfect color. A little yellowish daisy here. I'm going to do another one over here. At this point, you might want to make a little branch. I have those little branches here. I actually have uh, burnt umber, but you can just take your cadmium, I mean, sorry, lisbon crimson, right? Cadmium yellow deep and some Prussian blue. Cadmium yellow deep and magenta and make a nice brown too. So you don't have to have the burnt umber. It's kind of close to it. And I'm just going to make a little branch here. I'm not using a lot of water on this branches. And then I'm going to make a green. I'm clanking here. So I got all these yellows here. I'm just going to grab the Prussian blue. That's a little too much Prussian blue. <laughs> and we make a green. Yellow and blue make green. I have this really wild yellow here that I talked about on my um, dragonfly tutorial. It's a uh, Imidazolone, I don't know, say that 20 times fast, lemon. Grab some of that lemon. I'll activate it and mix it in. And then I'm just going to make some little greens. I got a little green here, leaf. Put another one here. We don't want too many greens because the, the whole entire cactus is green, right? So keeping it on the less green side. Just putting in a little bit here. On the stem, might put a little um, that pinkish color, orange color, which is so cadmium, yellow deep, and some magenta. I'm just going to fill that in here. Maybe put a little more yellow in there. This one got a little dirty. That's okay. This one I'll actually make green out here. Play around with it. Doesn't have to be green. It could be like a nice yellow ochre color. And put a little green leaf here. Some leaves. Like I said, don't get bogged down with all that. And if you want to go back in to the center of some of these flowers and see I'm just taking my brush the tip of it and just taking some darker color paint and I just take the tip of it and pull it out to the sides like that get the magenta do the same thing so just little brush strokes like that And the orange. Just like that. I'm going to put a little red center in this little yellow daisy. And then you can put yellow centers in the other ones, or black. Put a little yellow on this one. Vice versa, you can put red on that one. I think I might put like a nice bluish black in here. Okay. So we got that losing a little closer. We're going to do the green part of this. So we have that green, but I don't want to keep it this kind of green color. I'm going to add some more blue. And I got that cadmium yellow deep. There we go. That's kind of a bright green. You want a little more bluish. So I'm going to grab some peacock. I 
get the kind of green that I'm looking for. There we go. Touch of magenta, just a touch. It's going to tone that green down. All right, we're going to put a wash of the lighter green in here, and then we're going to go back in and a darker green. So you have that light green there. You are going to need a darker green. I'm just going to go right over my browns in here. I got the Prussian blue and get me a little deep. Add a little more Prussian blue. You get a nice darker green. So you got the two values here, medium green, dark green, and you can have a lighter one too, but you can water down this particular green. Might add a little yellow ochre. Yeah, dulls it down even better. All right, so I got some water on my brush. I'm going to add the wash going in like this. One of those little stripes you see. I'll do another one over here. So it's wet. And while it's damp, we're going to wash in that darker green. I don't have much water on the dark green, just a little bit on both sides. So you get back in here, get that dark green. We're going to have to wait that that dries before we go and do the other ones. I would even get darker, a little bit more blue, with a touch more red, even darker. See, I'm just tapping in some of the dark, dark, dark green. I'm going to take the same green here, go out here. See, we're just filling in this one. I'm leaving a little white space. I don't want it to bleed through that one yet. It should dry pretty quickly. This paper soaks up pretty quickly. Just I'm putting it right back in here. I'm smacking that jar. Sorry, guys. Clank, clank, clank. Gotta move that. Very carefully. See, I'm leaving that little white space in there. Again, I'm going to grab that darker green. Putting the dark green up here. See, we're getting there. And then we're going to go take that green again, go in the end. I like to leave just a teeny bit of white space and go back in and grab that dark green and bleed it in here on the edge and here. This one dried, didn't bleed as much. This one dried too. So if it dried, you can just clean off your brush, put some water, not too much, across it the whole area again, and then you can go back in and bleed your color. Just like that. going to tweak this little leaf here. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to let that dry and we're going to come back and do this. We'll do the dots and the spikes. Meanwhile, back at the farm, I take the same greens, right? And we're going to start doing our little zebra plant. I'm going to grab some more yellow here. Prussian blue. 
maybe a little yellow ochre to dull it down kind of but this green is supposed to be really dark so okay so we can mix two of the two greens a little bit lighter and slightly lighter and darker ones so for this one we're gonna just wash in the first little spiky guy We could do a few at the same time. See, so go with the outer one. Maybe this guy too. Because I'm not touching this one underneath. Because the ones underneath that one will have to wait. Because you want to not have it bleed into each other. All right. So I just did the spikes. And we're gonna take the dark green, kind of bleed up here on the top. Gonna add a little more Prussian blue to that. And a little bit of magenta. And a little bit of yellow. I want this nice deep, oops. Nice deep green. So I'm trying to make the combination of the blue, the yellow, a little bit of the red, which is magenta. Bear with me. <laughs> okay. I want it darker. Just kind of bleeding mostly up the top here. While it's still damp. I'm going to do a little bit up here too. This one might have dried too fast. So you go back in with some water again, and then you can bleed in the color. I wanted to kind of keep it light right in this section. So again, I'm going back up the water. And this one too, a little bit darker. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be. So again, we're going to go back in here with that light green. I'm going to leave a little white space. Just fill that in. Same thing here on the lighter green. And I'm going to bleed that dark green on the sides. Same thing here. You can add that dark green now behind that one. Gonna have to kind of like let those dry if you want to put that lighter green in between because that one's gonna bleed right into it. Here I added just a little more yellow to this one. But I'm gonna go back in and bleed that dark green. Right here and up here. Just want a little more variety so I'm going to go grab the yellow green again. Even though it's kind of all kind of similar tone, it's nice to put a little variety in. And I'm just going to grab the dark green. The last one here, the little guy, I'm going to have to wait till this one dries. Okay guys, I apologize if you didn't see the last part of that because this camera is acting strange today. Um, so that kind of dried, I'll go back to that one. And I'm gonna go and put the front leaf in there. I'm 
and then I'll bleed in the darker color. For some reason I didn't realize that I when I sketched it, this is supposed to go into this one. So we're just going to put another color right here. It's supposed to be one big leaf. We all make mistakes. So I'm just going to go back in here. You won't even notice once I put the white zebra. So we'll fix that in a bit. So going back to this little fun guy, uh, we need like a nice, really dark, almost a black. If you want to cheat and use like black wash or paints gray, I have a little messy combination of the two over here. Mix that in with the dark green. Ooh, making a mess. <laughs> so I have that. So you can make the Prussian blue and the yellow. You want it really dark. Grab some magenta. So we're going to make these little spikes. Just like the little V spikes. Just like that. You put a little dot. Right? Same thing here. Spikes. Just like these little spiky things coming out of here. And that's the cactus for this guy. Pretty simple and straightforward. Do do. If you want to put a little bit darker green under here, just to highlight that. We'll play around with that. And you get the little spikes. If you want to highlight them even more, you can grab this is when the white wash comes in for all of it. Oh, and by the way, the center of the flowers, you want to go back in. I'm just going to put in a little dots here that are darker. I might go around this one too. Just to highlight it a little more. Um, I'm going to grab some white wash with my messy part of my palette here. <laughs> I'm going to take my number four brush. I didn't talk about that, but I want a smaller brush. This is before. Get a little water in my gouache so you can control it a little bit. You can put a little white lines next to the spikes just to highlight them. And a little white dot right next to the part where the spike is. God, the wind is really blowing today. Just to highlight it. See how I just did that? So while we have the gouache out, switching to our little guy here, right? I am going to kind of tweak that little mess that I made here. I'm going to go back in and just fill that in with the darker green with my little brush here. See that? Fix that. It's like it never happened. I'm just tweaking that. Same thing here. I'm going to go in and fill in all those little dark areas. So you can do it with the bleeding this method, the wet on wet or wet on dry like I'm doing now. With the small brush, you have a lot of control. Just want to get these a little bit darker here. We're tweaking all this stuff now before we put that white part in. I'm going to put a little bit of dark color here and up in here. So now it looks much better, right? 
we'll let that we'll let those areas dry while we're letting them dry I'm going to show you how we make the little zebra so you get your white gouache on this little brush and you're just going to take it and you're going to zig 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 wiggle 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 like this wiggle 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 Mine's a little too thick. I have to water it down a little bit. Okay. See that? And you go in, you don't go all the way across. You kind of go meet in the middle. You can go across if you want to. We're just making these little white wiggles. And we're creating the zebra. So you keep doing this across, see, wiggle, wiggle, until you fill it all in. I'm going to fill all mine in and come back. Okay, so once you fill all it in, you know, you can keep tweaking. I'm just going to keep tweaking here and there, just getting it right along the edge of the zebra. And again, if this kind of watered down, go back in here and just highlight the little spikes with the gouache. It just helps pull them out to the foreground better. Just those little details sometimes mean a lot. So there you go. Oh, mini Monday Madness succulent version. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit the bell, bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. It's a place people can go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And um, because of that, I give you exclusive tutorials, um, traceables, ad-free videos. And if you're on the higher tier, you get a free download printable that you can use in your personal use that I create monthly. Um, you know, thank you guys so much for that. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. So. Happy Monday, guys. Enjoy your Monday and enjoy painting.